We ran on what we're going to replace Obamacare with. We made it really clear to the people of this country what we want to replace Obamacare with. But let's stay, take a step back. This law is hurting people right now. I mean, look at these premium increases. This year, Arizona, 116 percent increase in premiums. Tennessee, 63 percent increase in premiums. Oklahoma, 69 percent increase in premiums. <coughs> Illinois, 43 percent increase in premiums. North Carolina, 40 percent increase in premiums. Nebraska, 51 percent. Pennsylvania, 53 percent. These aren't statistics. These are real lives. These are real families facing huge premium increases. And on top of this, you got a massive deductible, so it doesn't even feel like you have insurance in the first place. So I think what's happening now are Democrats, uh, for ideological reasons, are trying to save their failing law, which was an ideological pursuit. The law isn't working. It is failing. It's nothing but a string of broken promises. Remember? If you like your plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep it. It's going to lower costs. It did none of those things. But what's worse than the fact that Obamacare is a series of broken promises that, that have been thoroughly debunked is this law is in what the actuaries call a death spiral. Plans are pulling out. About a third of the counties in this country have only one choice. That's not a choice. That's a monopoly. So the law is failing. Families who live paycheck to paycheck are getting hit with double-digit premium increase after double-digit premium increase with massive deductible increases. We have to provide relief. We have to step in front of this chaos and provide relief for people. That is why we're moving to fix this problem. Our goal here is to improve people's lives, is to have a health care system that actually works, is to have a health care system where families actually have more choices, where they have freedom, where they can have more competition and lower prices. And so this is why we're doing this. Stop the damage from getting worse, because it is getting worse. All the insurers tell us it's going to be even worse in 2017. And what is important to know, and I think the scare tactics started with the Democrats yesterday, is I think they're trying to make Americans think like, someday this February or someday this March, you're going to wake up and you won't have a health insurance plan. That ain't happening. That's not true. What we're doing is we're going to be methodical, we're going to be deliberative, and we're going to do this the right way. We're going to get this law repealed. We're going to get this law replaced. And we're going to have a transition period so that people do not have the rug pulled out from underneath them while we get to a better place. Obamacare has failed, is getting worse, and we have to provide relief. And we will have a transition period so that people don't get hurt. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.